Oh! Oh! And here we've got another exciting competition gun, the new Beretta DT-11. It's of course the replacement for the popular DT-10, but it's got some interesting extra features. It's still got the detachable trigger lock, but it's a bit wider in the action. The barrels are made from a new alloy called Stelium, for which Beretta claim all sorts of advantages. It's also bored as a taperboard gun in three sections. And from my own experience of shooting it, that does have a real effect. It's a very soft gun to shoot, and it produces excellent kills. The gun uses long Optima HP chokes, and it has a palm swell, although you can order it without the palm swell. You can also have one custom made to your own dimensions from the factory. It doesn't feel like the DT-10. It does feel a little bit chunkier, but when I've shot it, I've also found it to feel softer. Softer in the shoulder, softer on the face. It's a very steady gun, quite thick in the comb. An awful lot of design effort has gone into it. Let's just take the, take the barrels off. You'll see that the, the joining ribs, like a lot of Berettas, don't extend all the way back. That's a, a weight saving gesture. And you've got the classic Beretta monoblock, but it's combined, of course, with a cross bolt, which you not only saw in the DT-10, it was also in the ASE competition gun, and as well as that, in the famous SO side locks. It makes the gun just a little wider in the fences than other Berettas, but it's also an incredibly strong locking system. It's quite, quite a solid gun, no lightweight, but when you're shooting a lot of shells in competition, particularly if you're a serious committed trap shooter, it's an advantage to have a heavier gun. The Beretta DT-11. Well, a gun a lot of people are interested in. The Beretta DT-11. It's got these specially bored taperboard barrels. Something they did many, many years ago, but which Beretta have now improved upon. And they've made great claims for the gun. I've shot it before, it does shoot well. Let's try it again though. Earplugs are in, eyes are on, we're ready to go. Gun is clear. Oh! Oh! Very low felt recoil. Oh! Oh! Well, there's no doubt about it. You really don't feel much on the face or on the shoulder. The gun soaks up the recoil, very controllable, quite a weighty gun, but extremely well made. I suspect a lot of people are going to like this as a competition tool.